And I think we've, we're in the midst of a huge explosion of, first of all, sharing our collective wisdom as groups in, in relatively small groups or even global groups such as Wikipedia. And I think that we're just starting to, to glimpse the huge potential that can occur when we can share knowledge freely and collaborate. But it goes beyond simply surfacing what was otherwise invisible or not expressed. I think it also goes to building social connections, uh, what sometimes sociologists call social capital, which we very much need in this age of advanced capitalism when otherwise we're quite separated as individuals. I also think the uh, capacity to share knowledge is allowing us to invigorate democracy, perhaps new forms of democracy than just representative electoral democracy, but new forms of bottom-up participatory democracy, uh, often mediated by creative software platforms. So I'm extremely optimistic about the future. Uh, the question will be whether we can overcome some of the impediments that are also arising. A lot of incumbent businesses that have different business models don't really like people to share as commoners. They'd prefer to have a, be a gatekeeper or have a proprietary hammerlock on what sorts of innovations can occur. So that's a major challenge of building up an inclusive and shared knowledge. There's also uh, surveillance and censorship and spyware, which governments, the state, are trying to impose because they would prefer that they become, uh, re re remain the centralized control authority and that bottom-up action by commoners uh, not be allowed. So that's a real challenge that uh, we need to address. We've seen such things as uh, the Snowden Papers and, of course, uh, WikiLeaks as attempts to deal with this. But I think we need more structural solutions uh, and more bottom-up vigilance to help deal with the censorship and surveillance issue, as well as these proprietary interventions. I think another issue, however, is trying to develop the cultural culture and identity that makes collective sharing of information the norm and even an ethical imperative. So that too is a challenge going forward and I'm, I'm pleased that uh, groups like Wikipedia are so focused on that and uh, can help us move us forward. I think they're really a, a vanguard major player in helping to explore the potentials of collective uh, knowledge sharing.